and I've been playing guitar since I was 14. Like all good Jewish boys, I started off on piano. And uh, it just got a little difficult carrying it around from place to place. The guitar is much lighter. Anyways, the um, I became a Balchuva, a repentant Jew, when my son was born, some 44 years ago. And I walked out of the delivery room. It took us three years to have my daughter, and then six years. My son really thought we'd have no more children. And when he was born, I thought he'd be a girl at best, and on and on. And when the doctor said, hey, it's a boy, it just knocked me at my socks off. I walked out of the delivery room, and I became a Balchuva. And because of that, I had to write a song about him. And what's interesting is my wife is uh, originally from Philadelphia. So my uh, in-laws, we named my son Ian. <laughs> sort of a little backwards, they called him Ian. So I wrote a song called Detroit Ian, Philadelphia Ian, again, to commemorate the event and to thank God for all that he had done. I called him Detroit Ian Philadelphia Iron First time I saw him I was laughing He was crying Good Lord above me He showed he loved me When you came Second child surprised me Heard him say, hey, it's a boy Tears I fought away Tear of joy I feel every day Daddy, daddy, the first word that he said Made me shiver from my toes up to my head. Funny, how a thing so small can make a man feel tall every day. I called him Detroit Ian and Philadelphia Ian. First time I saw him, I was laughing, he was crying. Good Lord above me, he showed he loved me when he came. Smile from his lips steals my heart away. The sound of his laughter really makes my day And when I think I'm feeling sad I think, hey, I'm a dad And then I know that I'm okay Live my life real well seldom sad two out of three ain't bad anyway I called him Detroit Ian and Philadelphia Iron first time I saw him I was laughing he was crying Good Lord above me, 
be sure to love me when you came. I can't get it to go. I'm just wondering. Did I record? Checking on to make sure a technical <laughs> difficulty we might have. Well, all beginnings have their difficulties. <laughs> I wrote the song for my son, <laughs> my daughter who was six years older looked at me and said, uh, how about me dad? So I had to write her a song. Daughter's name is Beth. Beth and my girl. Beth, my pearl, you're the apple of your daddy's eye, you're someone I love. Beth, my girl, Beth, my pearl, you're the apple of your daddy's eye. Someone I love You act so funny But then you're my honey I love to see you laugh Hate to hear you cry Right from the beginning She looked at me and she said, you know, I brought these two in. So, 
I deserve a song. So I said, okay. But what happened was I wrote the song, but I only wrote half of it. And when I finished the half, I, I knew it just wasn't done. And when you hear the song, you'll hear there was a 25th wedding anniversary and I added the second half and finished the song. So it was a two-part song. Gladly say that I love you Gladly say that I care Gladly spend all my tomorrows Cause I'm so sad when you're not there I knew the moment I saw you I knew you had to be mine I knew you were the only one for me Cause you made the verses in my life rhyme I wanted you for my beginning Wanted you for my end Thank you for listening. Hopefully, we'll do this again next week. And again, most of the songs are Hebrew from prayer, uh, things that have touched me, things that I think are special. Um, and hopefully, you'll find them interesting. You'll find them hopefully motivating in some form. Again, music, the music of the soul. music is again the words of the soul. So look forward to uh, again next week and going through the process of these songs that I've written that God has blessed me with. Again, thank you very much for listening, and God should bless you and yours with all that's good. Shabbat Shalom, and good night. Thank you.